view hunting backpack, 50 pound dangle test for one mile around my farm. Will the shoulder strap survive? We're about to find out. Now we'll get back to the torture test in just a few minutes, but first I want to introduce the New View Hunting Backpacks. They're a new release from New View Hunting, and they sent me the 80 liter and the 60 liter to test and to torture. Now I am tough on backpacks. In fact, I am lucky if I can get one to last a year. I pack a lot of gear for my self-filming, especially during archery season, and it proves to be almost too much for many backpacks. Now let's get one thing straight. If you're going on an out west hunt, maybe a once in a lifetime type of hunt, you're packing in for days or weeks at a time. You're hoping to pack out meat, maybe a quarter of an elk. Neither of these are frame packs. And honestly, I don't think these will be what you're looking for if you're going on that type of a hunt. Now on the flip side, there are a ton of backpacks on Amazon. A lot of them look the same. They're sold under 50 different names they do not last. In fact, the first thing that goes on them are straps for me. When I load it down, even with my self-filming gear, the straps almost always tear partway through the season. Another thing with extremely cheap backpacks, the zippers. That's the next thing to fail for me. I've gone through countless backpacks because of the zippers breaking and it renders the backpack useless. Now, in my opinion, these seem to be a happy medium. They're not the cool kid $500 backpack that you can find, and they're not the $30 to $50 Amazon backpack that's sold under various names. The New View Hunting Backpack is a good mix of quality and competitive price, or at least in my opinion. So I wanna do my due diligence and test these straps and zippers on these backpacks. So let's get back to the swinging torture test. So let's check it out. Well, I was pleased to see that the straps survive at least that first mile with 50 pounds suspended directly on the shoulder straps. Now, as I mentioned, typically when you wear that, and even if you would carry 50 pounds, your back's gonna carry some of that weight along with your waist belt and your chest belt to distribute that weight. In my testing, 50 pounds hung directly on the shoulder straps and then bouncing and swinging for a mile. 
I would say it's a true test, and I was pleased to see that the straps were no worse for wear. The stitching looks still as good as it was for new. Now, I have been using these backpacks for the past two months or more, and although there is no hunting season open right now, trail camera season is always in full swing. Recently, I did a three mile hike where I took one of these backpacks, carried my cables and trail cameras three miles in the mountain. Now this wasn't a leisurely stroll down a country road. Again, it was three miles back in the mountains, up and down the ridges, over the rocks and through the mountain laurel, sometimes higher than her head. Of course, I had my camera gear and water for the trip and the backpack held up great. So one other thing that I wanted to test is the zippers. Now I understand that time will be the true test for the zippers, but I wanted to put it through some sort of test to see if the zipper would hold up. So I chose one of the compartments on the backpack and stuffed it as full as I possibly could with packing paper. That put on enough pressure that it was actually difficult to shut the two zippers, but I was able to get them shut and both zippers held up well. I opened and closed that compartment, put some extra pressure on it, and I had no problems with the zipper. Now all the zippers on every compartment look the same. They all have the same type of pull tab, and as far as I can tell, they're ex the exact same size, no matter if it's the main compartment or one of the side compartments. Now one thing that I have been using my backpack for for the past several hunting season is to carry my sticks and platform while I'm saddle hunting. A majority of my hunting nowadays is saddle hunting, and so I love having a way to transport my sticks and platform when they're mounted directly to my backpack. I was pleased to see I have straps near the bottom of the backpack where I was easily able to strap my sticks tight to the backpack. This allows me to carry my sticks on the back attached to the bottom of my backpack. It keeps the most weight low and centered on my body makes hiking around with the sticks attached to the backpack extremely easy. I love the fact that this has extra straps and places to attach things on the outside of the backpack. Also on the top of the backpack, they have some loops here. I'm not sure what they're specifically designed for, but I can envision myself carrying some extra clothing. Now, obviously you don't want the heaviest gear that you're gonna carry on the very top of your backpack. It would constantly give you pressure and pulling backwards, but putting an extra pair of bibs or jacket for cold weather hunting would work ideal for these top straps. Now there are a ton of compartments on each of these backpacks. In fact, they're both designed almost identically with just the 80 liter being considerably larger. While I'm talking about differences, the 80 liter backpack, because of its larger size, also comes with two aluminum supports. Now these supports can be installed inside of the backpack. It has two different compartments to slide these supports down in, and it gives some rigidity to the back or it allows the backpack some support to stand upright even though it's empty. Each backpack has side compartments and they have compression straps on each of those side compartments. Below those zippered side compartments is just a slide in pocket on both sides. Now each of these backpacks have a chest strap and a waist strap. The only difference between the 80 and the 60 liter is on the waist strap of the 80 liter, you have a side compartments on each of the waist strap while on the 60 liter, you only have one zippered compartment on the waist strap. Both the 80 liter and the 60 liter have a bottom access right on the front of the backpack. You can unzipper the compartment and access the main compartment from the very bottom. Both backpacks also have a zippered compartment on the very top of the backpack. That's ideal for storing items that need to be easily accessed. I can see putting a cell phone or maybe a map on the very top compartment. Now I already mentioned it has a chest strap, but on both backpacks, the chest strap is adjustable and has a built-in whistle into the latch. So what are my final thoughts? The pros and cons as I see it after actually using and maybe torturing these backpacks. Let's start out with the positives and that is they held up great for me. 
You saw some of the tests I put them through. I was actually quite impressed with that 50 pound test. Not only was it hanging directly on the shoulder straps, it was bouncing and swinging. Uh, a true torture test, and although 50 pounds you might not think is a lot, try putting that on your back. 50 pounds definitely tested these straps, and it passed with flying colors. I love all the straps and compartments that each one of these offer. Extremely handy, well thought out, and well placed. I like the access both on the top of the backpack and on the bottom of that main compartment. I can see that being extremely handy in a hunting situation. I have all my gear packed inside that backpack. I usually strap it to the tree and I can choose whether I wanna access that main compartment from the top or the bottom. Now, are there any negatives? Well, I haven't had any issues with these backpacks, but if I was gonna be concerned about anything, I think the stitching looks great, the material seems extremely durable. I have no question whether that's gonna hold up. I'm still a little concerned about the zippers. Now, they're not any type of name brand zipper, and although I had no problems in any of my testing, in the back of my mind, I'll be curious whether they stand the test of time. So again, hear me, I had no problems with the zippers. I remain cautiously optimistic that they're gonna last for me throughout the whole season and hopefully a couple of seasons. And so those were my final thoughts. I'm gonna be using this 60 liter on my everyday hunts here in the fall. You'll see me using this day in and day out. Uh, for me, between the two, this 80 liter is definitely too big for me to carry in like saddle hunting or in everyday hunting. If you're going on an overnighter or a couple of night trip, maybe you're camping or want to have a bag with all your gear in one bag in one centralized place, uh, this 80 liter might be extremely handy for that. But in my type of hunting and using it every day, climbing up and down trees, uh, this 60 liter is going to be perfect and you'll continue to see me using that this season. So I'll be placing links down in the description to these backpacks. If you want more information or maybe you'd like to purchase one for yourself, they are affiliate links and I get a small commission if you do choose to click on my links. I wanna thank you in advance and it helps me to continue to bring reviews just like this. If you have other questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Put that down in the comment section. Maybe it's something I totally missed or I didn't cover, but you're curious about. Please type out a question. I love hearing from you and I try and get back to each and every one of you. I wanna thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.